Say yeah. hi, Momo, to the mayor. Yeah, hi. Can we start? Yeah, we can start now, not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me about yourself? Yeah, myself, Manam. I'm working as a senior software engineer for those software solutions, having around four, four plus years of experience. So I'm working mm -hmm. as a senior PLC called developer. So I'm working for the project called uh, Healthcare System Project. Like, uh, uh, it's like both we have, I'm supposed to uh, HR and uh, so billing systems I'm working for the, so we use it as Java for the printing purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, so like uh, apart from that, uh, we used to create uh, some kind of reports. So how them. much years of hands-on uh, you have on PLS skill? Yeah, 4.5 years. Okay, so all four years you have hands-on experience. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. So you're currently you're working on the development project or maintenance project? It's a few, both the development and the support kind of thing. 90% um, of the uh, development kind of thing. So 10% uh, okay. like uh, fixing some kind of issues for the existing thing. So we used to for support for them. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about the difference between function and procedure? Store, yeah, stored function and stored procedure, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so function, so both of them, so we used to write business logic like uh, DML statements. So a DML mm -hmm. select kind of thing. So apart from that, function is used to uh, must return a value. Like uh, stored procedures may, may or may not return value. If you want to return, we used to uh, so, so like use out parameters kind of thing, in or out, out mode kind of thing. So whereas, whereas inside a procedure we can uh, use a written statement also. And so function must okay, return. So, so function is written value. If I want to return uh, 10 rows and 10 columns by using a function, will it be possible? Sorry, come again? Yeah, we can do it by using out parameter. All written sysref cursor we can use, not a problem. So. Uh, so 10 rows and so, so multiple columns and multiple rows I can uh, return by using function, right? Yeah, we can return uh, by using return uh, sysref cursor. By using cursor parameter, suppose if we create okay, so a global... Is, what is sysref cursor? Sysref cursor, it is so used to support 8 and onwards, it's a reference cursor. So by using reference cursor, we can return the data to the application program interface. So apart from that, we can use out parameter also. Not only return parameter, we mm -hmm. can use out parameters also inside the function. But when we use the out parameter in functions, we cannot call from the SQL statement. Like select or insert, update, delete, we cannot use those kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So such a situation, mutating kind of activity, it will arise. Okay. So, so you are, in your resume, you have written that you use bulk collect and bulk play. Yeah, so yeah. Please explain what is bulk collect and bulk play and where it is used. So instead of uh, using normal cursor for loops, so it will take context switching for each and every request and response, like it's sending to the SQL engine to the PLC SQL engine. So suppose let's say we have a one lakh records in that particular table, let's say table A. So instead of using a simple cursor loop, one lakh switchings, we used to take entire thing in a one, one nested table or index by table. So though it will keep in one PGA area library cache, so that it will process very easy in one context switch. So performance booster is very faster compared to the normal cursor for loops. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, tell me one thing, Mohammed. Your name is Mohammed or? Mohammed Manan. Okay, Mohammed Manan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you also worked on triggers, right? Yeah, triggers kind of thing. So can you please uh, tell me that whether I can able to write a commit in the trigger body? Yeah, we can uh, write commit, but you need to mention program program autonomous transaction. When we use commit inside the trigger, definitely we have to mention program autonomous. Otherwise, okay. so what is autonomous transaction? So like uh, the main whether it suppose you, let's take there are two uh, a business logic is going on. I I create one log function inside that main function, whether the my main function success mm -hmm. or failure, regardless of that, so it will create a one log. So it will place a record so that we can come across the so and so areas it got failed. For logging purpose we used to put a mainly. 
so independent transaction so as a it's a pre processor compiler here okay Uh, you also worked on U2L uh, file package, right? Can yeah. you tell me how it is utilized while uh, doing uh, the illustrate with examples? So it will be helpful. Suppose let's say a customer shares one uh, CSV kind of thing, one comma separated or tab separated kind of one Excel file. So I keep it in uh, so one location I read that one by using file pointer, by using UTL file a file type. So from there I will read, I keep it in one uh, scratch table, from there I can process. by opening that in read mode or or write mode append mode by specifying the okay. Okay. you also use the analytical function right yeah right 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 so what is the difference between rank and range function suppose if you use rank it will skip the numbers so let's say suppose if you take top 10 salaries suppose top top 9 are the same so in that situation it will skip the second rank it will give 10 so when you use dense rank it will give top nines once and the 10th uh, one it will give 10 when you use the dense rank okay okay can you tell me the use of list tag aggregate function list aggregator or uh, yeah list aggregator or xml aggregate yeah list aggregator xml aggregator or uh, wm concat so these three are doing the same activity suppose if you want to concatenate a group of data by using suppose let's say a group by department number if you use suppose if you want to comma separated value or tab separated value the place you delimiter specified based on that it will give the result set so what is the uh, extension what is the new feature it is added to list tag in 12c list aggregator i don't know yet list aggregator so uh, it is one or i Now, uh, let's consider that I have one lakh in employee table. I have one lakh employees. Okay. I want to group together the okay. comma separated. Okay. According to the department wise. Okay. So one department is containing one lakh employees. So all one lakh employee will get displayed as a no, output. No, 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 no. It will max support for four thousand characters only. In that situation, I use an XML aggregator. Okay, but in twelve C, there is a feature. Hi, sorry. Sorry, like. So Sorry. Oracle Twelve C is come up with one feature. Yeah, I don't know that. This particular sure. situation. Uh, I don't know actually. So, so in, in my project, yeah, that scenario I don't know actually. In my projects, whenever I it crosses more than four thousand characters, I use the XML aggregator kind of thing. Okay, but okay. Okay, so there is one thing. Yeah. If at all possible, can you please let me know so that I will let. I will ask. Do you uh, can you tell me the features? Means what is the difference between the or what are the developer features added in the 12C? Sorry. Because you have written that you will. Uh, what are the developer PLC equal developer? Okay. For PLC equal developer, what are the features or advantages has been added in the version 12C? Version 12C, like uh, we have a paging concept implemented there, given directly. Paging implementation by putting yeah. offset kind of thing. apart from that they have given identity kind of thing so auto number generation kind of thing so without using the sequence we can directly so put the auto number increment then we use the sequence values for the corresponding num mm-hmm. uh, apart from the with clause with clause already available in uh, 11g right they have some enhancements kind of thing in that also yeah in 12 they have some enhancements correct mm mm-hmm. Uh, mostly they concentrated paging kind of thing and the auto number kind of thing some of the triggers uh, uh, for the database level schema level triggers they have given mm-hmm. you also worked on the import export right yeah import export kind of thing for the my day to day suppose really yeah. yeah yeah tell me tell me yeah, import export you have done means uh, on unix server or like what uh, not unix server i worked for the windows system only actually so like whenever so, we used to we use that import export utility import export utility suppose let's say suppose my current version is a 30110 suppose if i want to dump it and i want to apply the latest packages or processes whatever i developed for the current version in that situation i used to export and import for the same you know i created one dump file and same i so that 
let's consider there is one schema okay that schema you have all objects yeah fine so the now name sequence yeah procedure function packages everything is there in the schema yeah fine fine i want to only take export i want to only take export of certain table only table only yeah. data yeah yeah it's possible then in that situation you need to specify the what are the tables you want to so uh, use to specify that with tables names by using the tables uh, command in that uh, utility tables equal to what are the tables you want you have to give those tables mm -hmm. yeah we can achieve those things so how, no how many years of experience you have sorry 4.5 years of experience you have four okay okay yes. how will rate uh, how much you will rate yourself out of 10 in pls i will give 6 around okay why so less sorry why so less uh, not less around 6 to 7 i can give not so there are many concepts like not only suppose some of the features we used in my project may not used in in your project so that's what i can do okay okay uh, can you tell me about like dynamic dynamic sql yeah yeah definitely so actually we have come across one situation in recent scenarios in my production server so mostly so most of the things we used to write only dynamic sequels only by creating a vss scale and some kind of thing apart from that so i used to bind variables kind of scenario to avoid the each time hard parsing so there might be the server headache when we do each time a hard pass kind of thing so even though we faced a lot of scenarios so we used to kill the oh, those all the sessions so in that scenario so i come up one situation like by using dbms underscore sql so i used placeholders as well as the bind variables at run time so that they it will keep the uh, um, best plan so again it won't go for the again hard parsing do execute bind